What it do, man? Happy to be back in front of you, man. 2023, we at the end of February. We are at the end of February. Black History Month went by so fast. Yes, it did. Yep. Uh, of course, you know, it is the shortest month of the year. Uh, you know, uh, Gwyneth's on X Malone. Uh, I got my wife back with me. Hello, yes. what's poppin'? Hello, Lisa the uh, This is uh, Convos with my wife. Let's just say 15. We're going to say 15. Yes, let's just say 15. We're going to say 15. 15. Let's just say 15. <laughs> you did. Um, uh, it's a pleasure to be back in front of y'all. A lot has gone on and transpired since the last time we came on here and just had a little conversation with y'all. You it did. It has. There's hey. a lot going on. I got baby girl do it t-shirts now, Woo-hoo. man. I'm telling you, the hustle is contagious, man. Let's g- hey, give her a round of applause for that. And she five. She legit five. She the truth with it too. She doing her own designs. She doing uh, you know, her own uh, logos and all that too, and printing the shirt. Well, sometimes I print them up. You know, he, I mean? he prints all my shirts because if I put it on the shirts, it's gonna be like this. How it's nice and straight, it's gonna be like that. If I have to put it on the shirt, all these eyes and glasses I got, I still can't get the shirt right. It don't matter. I can lay it on the floor, I can put it on the heat press, I can put it against him, it's still gonna be crooked. Hey man, it is definitely an art to, you know, heat pressing. You can have, you know, all the mechanics and the tools, but you still need a little bit of learning and a little bit of straightening to learn how to use that thing. And I ain't got no straightening, unless it's a baby shirt. If it ain't a baby shirt, but you fine now, 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 y'all don't let her, uh, you know, say you're short, you know, and, and set up here and act like she don't know what she's doing. Now, she will come in here and press some shirts. So, shout out to the people who are shopping with us. Yes, thank you so much for the support, the continued support. I got like, we got like customers that keep coming back and back. Let's just let you know how hot we are. Bad, in the t-shirt business i would have never known like 10 years ago you was around here trying to i don't know the oh yeah screen print yeah you were screen print shirts and i was rolling my eyes i was like oh jesus well, yeah, you what was, is he doing yeah, today she, she okay what cash, is he doing today cash cash but 10 years later from screen printing now he doing vinyl i mean vinyl hey, you, direct hey. to vinyl you talking to the brand building boss, man. Whatever you need, except a little three five. I don't got that. I don't have that. I do not have a three five. But if you need t shirts, if you need a logo, business cards, stickers. Man, we got I stickers. I had to put that out there. Too. Yeah, stickers online too, stickers, man. You stickers, see what I'm saying? Like, you don't see how the brand is 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 is. I'm gonna put a sticker on the shirt. Keep driving away, y'all. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that. Yeah, we go get to that. <laughs> but the brand is expounding and the brand is getting bigger. And we appreciate it and thank you so much for shopping with us. For Give sure. yourself a round of applause. Thank you so much. Um, you see something in us. I appreciate it. Y'all see something in us, man. You see the real, bro. You see the mirror. Hey, uh, so what do you want to like kind of talk about? We, I'm we got about a everything. Like, I got a whole talk. list of things that I want to talk about with you. And it's been a while. Mm-hmm. And the reason why it's been a while, because I had to have a come to Jesus moment with myself. Because when we do conversations, I want to do conversations and it can actually help people because our people need some help and i think since me and you've been together for a really long time and we have a lot of conversations about stuff whether it's good bad or indifferent that maybe we can get on here and we can you know maybe help somebody out one day well i mean that is the whole point and purpose of us doing you know kind of combos with you know my wife it, these are conversations whether it be you know sometimes we get on here and we be silly and then sometimes we get on here and we be serious too yeah but we always giving you good clean content you know to rock with and uh it's something that if 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 you really can read between the lines it's really some gems in what we saying man you know absolutely you see the recaps on instagram shout out to our instagram followers shout out mm-hmm. to the people that are following us give me a tag one time real quick my Instagram tag. Yeah, give them that. Tell them where it's at, because I'm going to drop it right here. X underscore Malone. That's yeah. not even it. Who, what is my Instagram tag? <laughs> it's Miss X. I'm, I don't know. Shit, what is it? At <laughs> MRS <laughs> underscore X Malone. There you go. I'm not really, you know, all into that. I'm just doing it because <laughs> hey, you tell me hey, hey, and, it is. and I did not make her do that. I swear, I did not make her put that name up. He didn't, but I am <laughs> Mrs. X Malone, true facts, so true facts. that'd be my name. So we dropped it right there. You already know you can follow me, nxwetrust.com. 
at NX We Trust D O T. See you next. I know yours. <laughs> So what are we going to talk about today? Moving on. So I want to begin. Um, let's talk about Cancel Chris Brown. Oh, my Lord. I want to talk about Mr. Chris Brown. I am a fan of Chris Brown. Regardless of what has happened in his past, what's transpiring right now, um, I think Chris Brown is phenomenal. But we do have Kylie Williams from 3LW who's like, we need to cancel Chris Brown. Which one is that? Which one? She's a lot. Oh, they were all light skinned, huh? No, everybody in 3LW was not light skinned. It was. Oh, there was one of the brown skinned yeah. chick, and then you had the little Dominican, oh, Puerto Rican looking girl, and there was the black girl. It was only oh, three of them. So yeah. the light skinned, um, the light skinned chick, Kay, Kylie Williams. Okay. Yeah, she had made a whole post about how we need to quit supporting Chris Brown because he's always trying to jump on somebody else's song. You know, of course, Chris Chris Brown has history with Rihanna. Um, you know, with the, that incident that night that had happened and played out 50 million years ago. But my only thing is, how many of y'all out here getting beat up? Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> Cut. No, hold on. That is not. <laughs> that, that is I'm not, just kidding. That is not, I, I was laughing at just how she said it. If you getting whooped on, please. We do don't. not. I do You're not support domestic violence at all. I am at not all. a fan of domestic yeah. violence. Don't I know I was being funny, name. but that wasn't funny. But everybody needs to keep their hands to themselves. But I'm just saying, it'd be so many stuff that happen in our own homes that we forgive our spouses for. We forgive our daddies, mamas, uncles, brothers, cousins for. But when it comes to these celebrities who we absolutely do not know, we always want to cancel somebody. Has anybody looked in the mirror and actually thought they need to cancel themselves? <laughs> Hey, that's a great question, man. I mean, that's a great question. Hey, if if, 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 if if you ever uh you know self opinionate yourself, if you go to the mirror and you say, "Dang, there's some things I need to check up on before you be pointing at everybody else," you'll hit a hit a hit a like in the comments, man. Leave a leave a, a, a fist like this you, in the comments. Something because we all have to check ourselves before we be checking everybody else. And Chris Brown to me seems like he's doing his own thing. He got rubber testum going on. He got a couple of other songs going on. So how we gonna cancel Chris Brown when y'all singing Robot Tess and I'm gonna go. I mean, I don't, I don't even I don't even listen to CB. You know, I don't. You know, I don't. I don't even listen to uh, the radio. I don't look at TV or none of that. But hey, the people the, the the people can do what they want and listen to what they want. Absolutely. I don't think nobody checking for a record that 3LW has done in a long time. So I'm glad you said it and I didn't. Because they ain't that. Hmm? 3L who? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. You couldn't, they couldn't get a hit. They couldn't get a hit if they was with, uh, you know, um, Tina Turner. Husband. I was just going to say that. <laughs> with <Yeah. Ike> Turner. <laughs> Bobby Brown. I don't know. It's all too soon, babe. We can't be doing this. We starting off horribly. All right, so we start off with, with shot, hey, if you 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 team breezy, you know, leave that in the comments or uh, or who are you? Team three L W. You know, I don't even remember baby girl name, so I can't. Kylie even. Williams, I do. Kylie Williams. I'll oh. never forget it. I always used to get her and Megan Good mixed up. I don't know how. They don't look nothing alike. And you must be talking about cousin Skeeter, because yeah, I can see yeah. what you're trying to get to, but babe, uh uh, that ain't it. That ain't it. That's why I told you, you're not going to do Megan like that. If you guys do not watch Harlem, I'm telling you to watch it. It is phenomenal. Harlem is good. It is a series to watch. It is Ratchet TV at its finest. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're at its Ratchet finest. TV. But it isn't reality TV. We all know that it's just a series. It's fake. It ain't real. But I don't, I don't know. People, people watching TV today, I can no longer assume if you know if it's real or not, I think a lot of people are just stuck in the matrix. They don't know. They don't know if they watching reality TV. Yes, they be watching that and thinking it's real, and that be the fakest thing since WWE wrestling. I mean, but you can kind of see how the world is turning reality TV into something real. We got day brunches everywhere. Everybody's, oh, and you know, I've been day drinking. I don't know what y'all been doing, but I used to be at Atlantic Station with the day drinking going on. I've been a day drinker, so day parties. But now it's like because the because the housewives are these ratchet, the same ratchet TV shows y'all watching. I don't watch that one. Y'all y'all watching something? Y'all watching something? I ain't watching the ratchet Harlem, but you know it is what it is. What is Harlem about? Megan um, Good, Megan Good's in Harlem. Yes, she is in terrible. Harlem, and it's about like four best friends. Um, it is not terrible, and it's just women. Angie is my absolute favorite. Um, 
they're all my favorite but i just love angie's bubbly personality she is the ratchetest one of them all however camille is also my favorite she is making good um it just tells the story of each one of their lives and how they're intertwined to being best friends and how friendships at the end of the day are very important and how friendships should be not so judgy and not so much hate but just love and they're just showing how black sisters or black women can come together in a sisterhood and just be friends even though everybody has their own different background there's some howling going on but you know we friends <laughs> we friends at the end of the day i think harlem is good if you don't watch it check it out is that this is that okay so that's top uh riddle off your top three right quick so harlem at the top one of your top three harlem is one of my top threes okay. the second would be ratchet shit and it's by Issa ray if you don't know now you know Issa ray it's me me her i we yeah rapping in the mirror doing all that and if you have not read her book the Adventures of an Awkward Black Girl. You have to pick that up. That is also a must read. It's a regular shit. She's mom. Hey, black she women, y'all need to tap into what uh, Miss MRS underscore X Balone is telling you. <laughs> she giving you some gems. Giving you, so two ratchet shows. I'm, I'm very ratchet. I'm from Memphis by way of San Diego, California. Oh, so I God. love me a little ratchet activity. It just kind of keeps me, you know, going with the flow. And so third and my mm -hmm. other favorite thing that I love to dive into is mm -hmm. Fear Thy Neighbor. <laughs> she do. She loves to Fear Thy Neighbor. Keep me on air, bro. My neighbors be looking at me crazy because I be looking at them crazy because she be having it on the TV. <laughs> I be watching some crazy stuff when I watch TV. I really do. Man, I don't even watch TV. You heard me. Just hit that back button a couple times. You hear me say, I don't even watch TV. I don't be doing nothing. I be hustling, <laughs> grinding, and working. This he, will, walk. he walk in and this see walk. me watching the craziness and he just gonna walk straight on out. It's cool with me. I'm gonna walk straight on out. Now, you said you from Memphis. Huh? Now, you said you from Memphis. What's up? So, I gotta go and bring it up. Go ahead. What you think about the incident with the Oh, my Lord. Oh, okay. So, first and foremost, I just want to let Memphis know that I am praying for that city. If you have not been to Memphis lately, don't go. Avoid it with all costs. Memphis, Tennessee is a sundown state. I'm just putting it out there. Then tell them what you mean by sundown. Cause sundown. Do you know, like, that. back in, like, 1819, where African Americans had to be in the house before the sun went down? Don't put no true date on that, because she don't know <laughs> 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 don't know what she's talking about. We still in 2023 and Memphis in the sea is a sundown state. When you in Memphis, if you can get up at six o'clock with the birds and the chickens, then you can be out and you can get in the house by two o'clock and be back in the area in which you have decided where you was gonna stay, I advise you to do so. Mm. Memphis is rough. Um the incident with the police officers, it's it's unfortunate. It is very, very, very unfortunate, especially with all the incidents that we have going on in the world with police brutality against us. It is very, very sad and unfortunate to see a group of black men Facts. whoop on that boy like that. Whoop on him like that. that to the point tragic. where they killed him. Yeah, you snapped that man's spine, man. He like, did. It, it, but like, hey, I done had, you know, anybody been in the street, man, you know. They, they done took whoopings or they done seen whoopings or they done gave some whoopings. Been in one of the, one of them categories, man. And uh to me, that just seemed like a that was a personal whooping. They took that man life, and, and it was not just one of them. It was a couple of them. It was like seven <clears throat> or more police officers who did that. Yeah, and I don't know. You can fact check this, but you know, a couple of people like may have been in the same fraternity or you know been cool with each other and were on the force. I just don't. You know, I don't trust these these task force coming out of Memphis. But I just mean the police po the police force anyway. It's like their own little gang per se. You know what I'm saying? You don't necessarily have to be a Sigma, a Delta, or any of that. You know, once you become a police officer, that's a different type of brotherhood within itself. But as a police officer, especially a black police officer, you would think you would go to be a police officer in order to protect and serve your community. Right. Because we already have a lot going on. Right. So for you to do that to a young man, and if it was a white man, I'm pretty sure he still would be alive today and be able to walk around and just, you know, be happily and free and get a little lawsuit and get some money. But we, they took a whole life. And not only that, that's not the tip of the iceberg to me. They had their body cams on. So we're actually able to see the incident 
Some that had. played out. Some had. But when you all show up to court, you guys are pleading non guilty. Yeah, not they, guilty. They finna play the system, man. Like they really are. I guarantee you, you can you can go ahead and you can fat check this too. You can go ahead and mark that down in your record book. Like these they, they finna walk. I pray they don't. They finna walk. I mean, <clears> and then they're gonna put they're gonna put the same black people that was marching and all of that, they're gonna put you in a very tough predicament. You know what I mean? Because you're going to sit here and be like, okay, well, we let him walk just like we let George walk. Now, what you going to do about that? George walk? Yeah, George Zimmerman walk. Oh, Bye, I thought you were talking about, I'm wrong, George's baby. Get me together. <laughs> she said, George Jefferson. <laughs> I was like, who? <laughs> Boy, what? Where are we going? We, you got to say the first and the last one. It's a lot George. of Georges out here, baby. You got to. <laughs> Yo, no disrespect. I am blonde hey, and said, the oldest there. I'm just slow. When, you, when she's slow and you still love her, that's him. <laughs> Yo, at this point, I just sat back and laughed. This is really why I do these convos with my wife so you can, like, join in on this. Yo, y'all give her a round of applause right now. I you probably know? need it. I promise you I do. Like a round of applause, a drink, a shot, all of that great yeah, stuff. All right that. Now. So we done talked about, you know, the CB, you know, tragic domestic violence. Everybody keep your hands to yourself and find a way to do more than you know swing and hit the best thing you can do is really like you know what i mean talk that thing out as adults just talk that thing and sometimes you gotta walk away from a situation and that's absolutely okay but since we are on relationships i'm gonna dive into something so you know i'm on a couple of facebook groups um especially um marriage uncut shout out to y'all um my own personal um, marriage group called the Wives Club, full of you know diverse African American, Latino. There is some women in there who are, um, yeah. Um, so we was having a conversation, <laughs> and I'm you know I'm all for everything. I'm biracial myself, so that is you know I'm here for it. Um, we were having a conversation about telephones. Mm-hmm. So the conversation came up, and the question was asked as I should say why are women so afraid of touching their spouse's phone oh shoot I don't know I don't know any wife that's uh you know scared to touch their man's phone shoot why is we going through their man's phone like crazy we need to stop that if you're going through your husband's phone if you're going through your boyfriend's phone put the phone down sis we got better things to do in 2023 I uh, can assure you of that look no Look. cap, no cap for real. <laughs> no cap for real. But like. I'm serious. Like, if you are with somebody and you feel the need, if his phone is right there and you feel the need, you need to go through their phone, you don't need to be with that individual yeah, you might as well anymore. Just leave. You might as well just leave. I, what, what did I tell you uh, from the giddy up? What did I tell you from the giddy up? Sure, don't man. get it twisted. I'm very clear on my boundaries in that area, baby. Yeah, she said, don't go, go through her phone. I said, shoot, don't go through mine. I said, shoot, We're man. done. If you were to decide, at the point where you decide in this relationship, you need to pick up my phone and you need to go through my phone. Not that I would say that I have anything I need to hide from you. Feel free. You the password is you know where it's at. But if you get to the point where you need to do that, I just feel like we just need the round table the situation and just call it a day. Um But but sometimes but that'd be a two way street. Sometimes people be dealing I seen uh <clears throat> it was a post that was said, they said sometimes you be in a how the hell they said it? You be in a war with a person. You be a fatality. You be a fatality in, in a war a person in they self you just be an innocent like you be an innocent fatality just in a war you know what i mean like when you i was like yeah that that makes sense because sometimes you be in a war and yes you might be getting your phone checked you know what i mean and yes you might be getting a third eye or whatever but that may be an insecurity in someone else that they're necessarily dealing with and you're just the person that they have the opportunity to kind of like. Just find something that's to do out. with the insecurity. I promise you, it's not worth it because 99.9 percent of the time, if you go <laughs> looking for what you're gonna find, what you're looking for. Um, there was a lady who did make the post with that she goes through her spouse's phone or anybody that she's with because she would rather know upfront what type of individual she's with because a lot of times women wind up marrying a man and he is a whole nother person or has a whole nother family around the way and you don't find that out until that individual is dead therefore she feels like she would rather know now so she can cut ties and then at that point she can decide if she want to go left or right but i think that if we all act 36 and up and be grown about every situation 
we can sit down and we can talk about this. Like, yo, you talking to somebody else? Do you feel like you need to be in a relationship with somebody else? Is that something that you want? Because then I can make the executive decision for myself right. to decide if I want to be with you or even stick through you with any of that. Right, right. You can weigh your pros and cons at that point. Just, you, just you, tell the truth. Yeah, just yeah. tell the damn truth. Period. Just, it's gonna hurt. The truth hurts. <laughs> and I see something that uh, somebody said that too. Uh, was a, a, a post that said, you know, sometimes women be is this true women be asking for the truth like they say they like you said just tell the truth but if a man was like purely unadulterated like truthful with some women do you think that they can handle that it's hard because you can't say the truth with me about a situation and it was a really hard pill to swallow but i had to swallow that pill and after i swallowed it and it did what it did to my system or whatever then i was able to make the decision on if i wanted to further continue in that situation or was I gonna not continue in that situation? You know what I'm saying? But I think it's, imp we might not want to hear it, but if we sit down and we be truthful with ourselves, it is something that we do really need to know and need to hear. It, it one, it will cause a lot of confusion to go away, if I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, and it can also stop you from being in some crazy ass situations. Like, man. I didn't have my clothes bleached before. I ain't <laughs> trying to go down that road again. Okay. <laughs> Man, I mean, I'm good. I, 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 mean, you, you, I know people that have been down some, you know what I mean, crazy situations, and they, and they, you know, in different relationships. But <clears throat> if you don't went through it, and, and you know, I, me, I just don't feel if you got to go through my phone, you know, it just ain't no point. It just ain't worth it. You know, you, you can go and find something from somebody else and what they want and what you know what you might be looking for i don't feel i have to go through your phone because being with you for so long i have asked you some crazy tail questions and regardless if i wanted to hear what they were you have always been very truthful with me so i don't think i will have to do that just speaking for our relationship wise i just think you know you just continue to do what you do and you be yourself and tell me the truth and we're gonna be all right Yo, so anybody going through a relationship and if your old lady trying to check your phone man you know hey check her on that don't and, and i and i and I, I i i seen another post that also sprung off the back of that like i it just be i mean check her on checking your phone i thought she was <laughs> i don't like how that came out <laughs> i don't mean that in the most thuggish way check i mean her? i mean that it, i mean check her in the most humble way you know tell her you love her Tell her you appreciate what she does. Tell her that she is the light of your life. And you enjoy every day that you have with her. Then check her on out. Okay. And be like, That's the next time you go through my phone, I'm going to leave you. <laughs> All of that. <laughs> that there. That's, that's a check-in. That's a check-in. All right. So anybody that's going through that situation, I guess, like, you know, I, I get it. Is that a big topic that's in the... It in the really topic? is. And it keeps wow. circling around and around and around. And a lot of people are, you know, it's insecurities within yourself if you don't go through his phone. And I mean, I don't know. If it's an insecurity within me that I don't go through his phone, you know what? Let me be insecure. Call it what it is. Oh, Call it how you oh, see time it. Time out, time huh? out, time out. So there's an insecurity in you if you do not go through his no phone. if you go through his phone but i'm just saying i don't go through your phone oh, so some so people are man. looking at it some people are looking at it as that i'm insecure or i would rather not have the truth told to me because oh, technically naive. you cheating no naive you're oh, there you go. you're naive word. oh you're not insecure you're naive there we, okay naive because you won't go through my phone. yeah that all of that but see sometimes like when you all right well you know i'm gonna go through his phone and then you have like in your mind that oh I know it's something you know what I mean you know how some people can have a preconceived notion about it before they even do it yeah it's like oh uh, it's like you know how you talk about me with food yeah like, you know we pull up to the wing spot yeah it's dirty as hell in there. you be judging because sometimes when they got an F on the window them chicken wings gonna be fire you be like, I'm, gonna eat. I'm like boy please I don't know if Catch I walk this in, bacteria if, if I walk good, in them floors them floors we sound like I'm <laughs> Like I'm stepping on bubble paper. I'm trying to get a 10 piece lemon pepper dry and I need my fries extra crispy. I'm from Memphis. <laughs> Gotta be from Memphis. Eat them dirty ass wing spots. I'm sorry. <gasps> San Diego, taco shops. We already know them taco shops. The cold be not listed. We be eating at them taco shops like. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Shout out to y'all, but the same thing. You know Bougie like, in the yeah, yeah. <laughs> from the south. I don't yeah. forgot all what I was talking about. I'm sorry, Man, anyway, off. anyway, next topic, next topic. What else? You um, talk since about? we're gonna stay in our lanes and pay attention to our own phones and not be going through our husbands' phones, let's talk about how y'all be driving out here in Georgia. I had to drive from Atlanta all the way to Memphis, and I'm gonna tell y'all now: if you all the way in the far left lane and your exit is about to come up. It is no. You if you going to cross over three damn lanes to go off your exit, baby. You the reason why we be having accidents out here. You need to keep driving to the next exit, loop around and come back down. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, 285 was lit. 22. 22. Memphis 2. Yeah, Memphis 2. Well, hey, in Memphis you don't have to have uh, no registration. Not shout out to the 905 man. You know we we in the A. We in the A. We on the know 905. I'm sorry. We trying to let y'all go, but 905. Just give a. I need y'all need a round of applause right now. 901. I'm sorry. 901. <laughs> think about me. I, I, I'm thinking about all kind of letters. I you see in California. I was thinking about uh, 90210. I was thinking about all kind of numbers. Take the will, Jesus. <laughs> I was confused. Like, what's that? Well, he knows something. To, I don't know. Hold on, shout out to the 901. There we go. Put y'all stinking behind. Shoot. Y'all just. I'm sorry. I, I, I love it. I love it. Man, them folks don't have to have no registration on that car because the impound is so full. They can't put no more cars in the impound. So folks is parking on top of each other in places where it says no parking. You gonna put a ticket on the car, Popo, but where the ticket gonna go to because the car isn't registered. You don't have to have insurance. Okay, on your car. So everybody driving around with the bumper, the front end, the side end, the back, the lights, everything is hanging off them cars. I'm talking about a new 22, a 2022. Brand new. Brand new. Tag, handwritten, bumper falling off and switching from all the way from the left lane <laughs> all the way to the last one on the right. Trying to get over in your exit, but your shit falling apart. I don't understand. <laughs> That's the 901, man. I'm sorry, bro. Shout out to the 901. That's a 770 to 4402. Yeah, especially on that driving shoot. That's why y'all got to call 1-800-HURT-411 and all the rest of them. I ain't going to say no more because ain't none of them cutting no checks, man. Uh, you know, we've been talking this almost 30 minutes, but baby, I appreciate you. You know, I don't know what else you want to talk about. I don't know. Do Just you have anything talking. for me? I mean, I got everything for you. Give me one. Me. Let, me, let me answer some of your questions. <clears throat> all right, so... Hmm. Excuse me, did I do that? I did. Man, have your uh, women ever been driving right and then like they get hit or they hit something and they don't tell you nothing about it? Like you ain't gonna see it? And then when you bring it up and be like, hey, now what happened to that door like that? What happened? They be like, oh, what do I? Pause, yeah. cut the tape. It was me. I did. <laughs> it was so crazy, right? I was driving his truck, okay? I was. Man. It happened in my car, too, when I had the little car. Yeah. But she told my neither shit. here nor there. I was driving his truck one day to take my baby to school because he had to take my car, whatever the case might be. And I was bumping. I thought I was up in the big boy truck and I was doing, you know. So I get to the house and he always backs his truck in. Something inside of me told me to pull the truck into the driveway. But nah, I wanted to prove that I know how to drive. And I backed that truck in. One of his homeboys was outside, and one of my moms was outside. Boop! I didn't think nobody heard it, so I pulled the car up. Everybody jumped out and was like, girl, you okay? You all right? I was like, shh, he ain't gonna know. Shh, if you be quiet, he ain't gonna hear it. He ain't gonna know, shh. Hey, keep in mind, I'm at work, I'm in her car. His homeboy's talking about shit, I ain't gonna say nothing, I ain't gonna say nothing. Before I can even give him what he came to the house for, he done told on my ass, took pictures and sent it to him. <laughs> and I don't even get a chance to tell on myself yet. <laughs> Shout out to my clients. Shout out to my folks that really rock with me hard, man. Y'all How dare gonna... you tell me you ain't gonna say nothing and then you gonna tell on me. Hey, they ain't gonna cap for you. They, they like, okay, yeah, I ain't gonna say nothing, I ain't gonna say nothing. So that's incident number one. So there's another incident. So I decided that me and my best friend was gonna go to a baby shower. And it was in an apartment complex. 
So that. we trying to get that. to the baby shower, and you know how on some apartment complex they have that lever thing, the arm that goes up and down. With a lap, the arm went up, and me drove through. Okay, me and my best friend we drove through. Me drove through. As soon as we drove through, the thing went boink on top of the car, and me and my best friend we ducked like that shit hit us. <laughs> so we going to pull into the parking spot, and we both hop out the car like trying to check to see if anybody can. We couldn't say nothing. So she was like, we was like, together we was like, we're not gonna say <laughs> together, that. <laughs> you, hey, her friend, you know, she, I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a round of applause for you because you stayed solid with her. <laughs> I'm gonna give a round of applause for you. <laughs> so we decided we weren't gonna say nothing because we couldn't see anything. So maybe two weeks later, my husband decided he was going to wash my car. Not no decide. Y'all know who y'all can holler Four seven zero two ten x Just takes clean car. Anyway. There we go. So he decided he was going to wash my car on this particular day. So he outside. I'm making my margaritas. I'm chilling. Everything good. So, babe, you ain't going to tell me about the the apartment thing hitting the top of your car? Like, how the hell did he know exactly what it was? So he's talking about me. I'm always doing something, and I ain't trying to tell them myself. <laughs> but I need to start telling the truth, like I just got through telling y'all <laughs> a couple minutes ago. Because clearly, <laughs> if I have more open conversations, maybe I won't be in so much trouble. <laughs> See, remember, this is what we said when we started this episode off. We've been gone because you know we had the age. It's but that's just old. You gotta, you gotta look old. at yourself in the mirror. You gotta look at <laughs> It took a while for me to, you know, have that come to Jesus with the Lord and decide that I was just going to have, you know, open conversations when incidents happen. I came around and told you about your truck, but you already knew. So. I already knew. I was trying to figure out how to get that bad boy fixed, you know what I mean? Shout out to uh, uh, everybody that's driving a whip and get your old lady the keys and wish you didn't. It ain't bad. It's just a little, a little kiss mark. You can't even see it unless you go looking for it. My truck went made ten years. My truck made ten years. It's a pretty work truck, but it made ten years. I hit the house. <laughs> Happy anniversary. The brick house. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Take this bumper. Oh, anything else you want to put talk? a sticker on it for you? You know, I'm uh, good. You might as well put a band aid on it. I should you know? and put, well put the wife did this on accident. That's what I'm gonna do. Make a band aid sticker and put it on there. The wife. <laughs> Draw the truck. <laughs> Yo, real quick before we get up out of here, how many shirts you done made in uh in in, in what amount of time? Oh, so I got my cricket machine in October and I have it on the spreadsheet at the top of my head. I don't know. I wanna say a hundred plus about. shirts. By October, um, I think it's a great startup business. I have officially paid for my cricket. I pay for my cricket probably in the first month or so. Um so yeah, if you are into you know being creative, the cricket machine is absolutely easy. It's really easy. Anybody can pick up a cricket. It is very self-explanatory. It tells you exactly how to use it. Um, it's a lot of YouTube videos up there. As a matter of fact, if you you know what I'm saying, if my husband don't mind recording me, I can show you how I design, cut, press. I don't press. He press and make a t-shirt. So, well, yeah. I'm glad you went ahead and brought that up. That was kind of like a spoiler alert towards the end of the video, but I'm going to give you a round of applause too because she highlighted that. All right, so yes, we are about to have a three-day conference. Three-day conference, Black Billion Dollar Network, mm. nxwetrust.com, mm -hmm. GFB, God Family Bread Movement, we gonna shout do, out to them. Yeah, shout out to them. They low key. That's one of our sponsors coming up. You know what I mean this year. But all three of us are joining together to do a three day conference. If you say we ain't working out here, you're the biggest capper I know. And I ain't even talking about no fraternity, but you a big capper. Hey, we get into it. Three day conference. We gonna show you everything we know how to do. We gonna give you the jewels. We gonna give you the game. It's gonna be down at the church. It's called Blessings and Business. It's gonna oh. be the Blessings and Business Conference. I like that. Hey, because if you don't understand that blessings and business go together, mm -hmm. you already like it. So we giving you major keys, giving you major jewels. It would be so dope for you to like maybe teach a you know a little thirty minute, forty five minute class just on what you've learned. Okay. Show them the spreadsheet. So you know some more dates are to be announced. Uh, we have some things that are. Pending. We have some other people that are going to be speaking. We got a lot of headliners that I'm working on. 
we're going to do this like maybe April. Okay. So we got a little time to get it together. But this is kind of like a little prelude. You heard it from me first, Brand Bill and Boss, X Malone. I uh, got baby girl here. You got anything you want to say before we get up out of no, here? No, I guess I'll see you guys next week. I'm going to try to be on here as much as possible. Man. I'm going to try my hardest. I'm not going to make no promises. But I really do love doing the podcast because I really actually love seeing the feedback from everybody. And I also love to hear when I don't do them for a significant amount of time. Everybody's like, yo, 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 you need to get on there. Man. We really think you are hilarious. I didn't think I was funny. I appreciate the fact that you all out there think I'm funny. Um, and you guys don't wa- mind watching me, you know, be unapologetically myself. Man, get, I like I it. told you in the last episode, get in her DMs. He, and he, hey, he, still, get in the DMs if you got a check for it. But shit, just get in her DMs and don't tell Don't check you. for me unless you got a check. I'm just ending on that. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>